I'll be waiting for the cards. Anyway, <laughs> it's a Try Tuesday for all you chocolate lovers. Ooh, this is a fun one. We're taking you inside a local chocolate shop to see what it takes to get ready for Valentine's Day. Plus, the San Antonio Library is here, and we're getting crafty with some DIY ideas for kids and teens. And we are cooking with love. Beef Loving Texans is on the set today with an Asian-inspired recipe that you can make this Valentine's Day. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Hey, this is Katie McKenzie, and you're watching SA Live. Oh, she has the most wonderful voice. Good afternoon, everyone, <laughs> on this Tuesday. Did you get me a Weatherman's Day gift? I will have it later today. <laughs> right after my break, when I run somewhere to get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's the thought that counts. I'm Mike Ostrich. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorsizel. We've got sweets on the show. We've got crafts. But we want to know, what's your favorite thing to cook for your loved ones? You cook. <laughs> I guess the most re requested thing and uh, various dishes, but would have to be the individual little chocolate souffles. Oh, that's the yeah. That's always the standby right. thing that my wife likes. So mm -hmm. she says that's why she married me. Oh. Chocolate souffle, so. <laughs> so let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll try to share a few you? of them later in the show. Well, I don't cook. But my, my husband. What do you thought? What do you order <laughs> my, out for? My, my husband um, makes the most amazing spaghetti. Oh, and, okay. And he does the sauce from scratch. Really? So that's what he, really, really makes it. Yes, he does. Oh. I know. How did I get so lucky? I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. It's hey, like, it's why I married him. How about, how about Shailene? Yours was too it, it, it involves beef, right, Shailene? <laughs> or a steak, right? Absolutely. Yeah, a good, a good In any shape or form. <laughs> and Shailene McNeil from Beef Loving Texans is here. And great recipe for your yeah. sweetheart. Good mm -hmm. afternoon. We are so lucky to be in Texas where there's all kinds of beef-loving Texan mm -hmm. chefs out there. And one from Austin, from Lenore and Austin, Todd Duplachon, has shared with us his favorite Valentine recipe. So we're going to get going on that. It's a Chinese barbecue. Mm -hmm. Today's the Chinese New Year, so That's perfect right. timing exactly. on that. But I want to talk a little bit about this because when you're in the supermarket, you're going to pick up short ribs. Usually when you pick up short ribs, this is what you're used to seeing in the package. Mm -hmm. Now, these are Korean-style short ribs. These are often called English short ribs or just what you'll see. Korean-style short ribs, you see they cut across oh. the ribs. So you get so a little bit more meat. each individual little rib is in there. Yeah, and they're okay. called cross-cut. You might ask your butcher to pick those up for you. So we're going to use these delicious... Um, Korean style short ribs, and you're going to make an Asian marinade, Fiona. If you'll just help me out, okay. you're going to be adding in, that's a little soy sauce, mm -hmm. so good umami ingredients. Hoisin sauce is the next ingredient, very common in Chinese cooking. Little red wine vinegar. And then here's the Valentine's ingredient, beet juice. Bright beet juice. red, so much good natural color, anti-inflammatory, anti antioxidants. I was going to say a lot of good vitamins in that, too. Absolutely. So. Garlic and ginger, great. And then a, a Chinese five spice, you know, a little bit of a clove and coriander, cinnamon. Mix all that together, mm -hmm. and we're just going to pour it on to marinate our short ribs. And you and, said also, because you know, it's, a, it's a different cut, because usually the English short ribs, it's the low and slow that's but, right. But this is a grilling. Because we're able cut. to marinate these, we're going to put them on the grill, whereas your short ribs would take all day braised. So just dump that on. Do you see that beautiful red color? We're going to let that marinate. That looks perfect. We're going to marinate that overnight. In it's the fridge. It's going to come out. Yes, in the fridge. It's going to come out. And then all you're going to do is just put that on a medium hot grill for about two to Whoops. three minutes on each side. Okay. So you can kind of take that. Put those on. They'll sizzle on the grill for two to three minutes. Okay. Chef Duplajan loves to pair that with a grit. And then what we did, we took those grits and we added some beet juice. So we have a red color, uh, which, you know, you're going for the Valentine's, Valentine's theme. Day. You can get, go mm -hmm. with all that theme. Put it with a glass of red wine. Look at that sizzle. Once, Mike, you've put those on the grill and you're reserving a little bit of marinade there mm -hmm. as you're doing that, we're going to take this marinade and we're going to reduce it down and use it as a glaze to go back over our delicious, tender short ribs. Because usually you, whoops, you want to toss the marinade out. Usually you toss the okay. marinade out, but you've kept this in the refrigerator overnight, and you're going to heat it really good because it's going to go in a hot pan, and you're going to reduce it down and get that nice glaze so you've got plenty of heat on there. Mm. 
Oh, and the that's going to be your smell mm-hmm. coming off of here. So it delicious. Smells so good. International flavors are really something extra p- special to do for the holiday. I mean, for Valentine's Day, I think mm-hmm. you'll you go the extra mile to do that chef inspired. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And this re- uh, recipe, of course, is found on your website, right? Beeflovingtexans.com. It's your resource. If you want to do a different beef cut for Valentine's Day, your grilling guides, all on there. Beeflovingtexans.com. Be sure you check them out. So many recipes. Yeah, because that, that's mm-hmm. the. I think sometimes, unless it is a, a burger mm-hmm. or just a regular old steak, yeah. People might be afraid because, you know, expensive cuts of meat, you don't want to wreck it, so you don't That's know what right. to do. And, and try something different. You know, we tend to buy our same cuts of beef right. over and over, but here with this little simple recipe, you're able to get something new and different. Branch I love the, out. Branch <laughs> out, exactly. I love the Asian flavor on beef. Asian marinades just taste so delicious with beef. The pairing is great. You get that great savory umami flavor. So cook yummy. outside your box. Yeah. And, <laughs> and once again, because you've marinated this, it has kind of broken down some of the connective tissue. It's going to be it's... really tender. Okay. Just two to three minutes, you're probably ready to kind of take one of those and see how that comes across. And then okay. you'll flip those, and then you can just serve them on a plate like we've done. You can cut them up if you'd like, but... They make about a pound is a great for uh, dinner for two. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of leftovers. Okay. Those are, those are great ideas for if you want to cook at home for Valentine's Day, right? And I think a lot of people do. And <laughs> yeah. a lot of people get, what's, get involved. What's more love than, than cooking for your Valentine, right? Mm-hmm. And we've got there a we little go. bit of a uh, sample a right here. Of this, there. So. Mm. Got it? Mm. Pretty good. I yes. love that Asian five spice that comes out. You'll, you Pick up a little bit of that with that savory marinade. And Delicious. the nice thing, too, is the marinade, it's not overpowering. Powering so you it. still get the good flavor of the meat, which is that nice little it's a subtle. Great pairing. Asian great there. pairing. Oh, that's really good. Okay. All right. Hmm. Great stuff from Thank Beef you, Loving Shaleen. Texans. For more, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, from the main course now to dessert. And my sweet here got to try something sweet. Yes, try to be a chocolatier for the day. And let me tell you something. This is a lot more involved than you would think. It's a lot more than just melting chocolate and eating it. Take a look. <laughs> You're a natural of chocolate. Well, what is synonymous with Valentine's but chocolate? And we're going to be making some... here with Nacho Aguirre from The Least Chocolatier. Hello. So we, this is one of these processes where once we start, we don't stop. And it's quite interesting and quite complicated and technical as, as well. Well, right? it's that complicated. You just need to know how to okay. temper chocolate in order to even the crystallization of the chocolate and be able to have the crack, the chine, and the flavor. So this is more like science class than anything <laughs> uh, else. Yes, yeah. you just don't stick it in a bowl and melt it. Oh no, here in the store we have white, milk, and dark. It's just a Today, vat of chocolate. We're gonna work with milk. Okay, so that's not ready to go even though it's oh, melted. No. Yeah, even though it's melted, it's not in the correct temperature that you need to work it out. So these are scrapes, and what we're gonna do is that once we put our chocolate in the table, if you touch it, it's cool. Right. So then you need to lower the temperature of the chocolate and then bring it up again so you can work with it. Okay, we need to leave a little bit on the pot, and now we go. Okay, so then just move it. Okay, the feel of this. Oh, even yes, with the it's amazing. It's great. <laughs> okay. You have oh. to keep on moving it, okay? So it's almost like stirring something in the pot. You exactly. just got to keep going with this. And then you're going to start feeling the chocolate that is getting a little bit heavier. You see, it's about a 79. Fill them all the way up. Uh-huh. Not too much, not too little. Okay, so just bang it to get all the air bubbles out. Okay, and then we're going to turn. There you go. So then you move your chocolate again, because then we're gonna need it for the turtles, okay? Okay. I have all the toasted pecans already there. Chocolates, there's a lot behind them, which is why it's such the perfect gift for Valentine's. You're not just buying chocolate, exactly. you're buying work and love and... Uh-huh. These are the feet of our turtle, so mm-hmm. we're just gonna stick them up together, put a little bit on the center, and then on around. There you go, you're doing it pretty good. That one is good. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay. Now it's my energy boost. Right. <laughs> and then we back to our molds. You see how they're setting? 
Oh, and, okay. the, and the little and the shine in there as well. Exactly. Okay, and look at that. That's the shine. Exactly. So then, what we're gonna do is that those double hearts are filled with strawberry cream. You put the filling into the chocolates. Two thirds of the shell. Mm -hmm. That is our chocolate cream. <laughs> Okay, just press it down a little bit so it will stick. Okay. Covered it at all. And then you have your turtle. So now our molds are ready. Pretty good? I mean, yeah. Raise it up. There you have hey. it. Hey! Well, look at that. <laughs> and this has the strawberry cream inside? Uh -huh. Oh, pretty darn good. <laughs> Don't look. I didn't realize mm. you had to temper the chocolate to get it at the right temperature and everything, and that's what helps to give it the nice sheen, and it comes out of the molds a lot better that way. But here's the, the little one with the, the heart this, with the strawberry. This one? This, this one, here you go. Oh, this is Try that. Oh my and gosh. also, the great thing about the, uh, the turtles, mm -hmm. the pecans are toasted a little bit. So it adds that whole different little flavor to, to the pecans. Mm. Yeah, and this is that good Belgian chocolate. Mm -hmm. There were three vats of melted chocolate behind me that you just wanted to dive into. Mm. Oh, that was so, and by the way, if you mention SA Live, 10% off over there. It's uh, right by Blanco and 1604. You did the, very well. Access. Thank you very much. Very These well. are very tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. Still ahead on the show, more sweet <laughs> treats as we stuff for, our faces. For your sweet. Annie's Petite, Petite Treats. Treats is here to share a fun, creative recipe. And next on SA Live, crafty fun for the whole family, and it's free. The San Antonio Library is here to share a whole lot more. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we're getting crafty with the San Antonio Library, and Robin El Corta joins me with a sneak peek at some of these free programs that you can be a part of around town. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. You brought such fun stuff. I did. I'm okay. very excited to share with you a few activities that you can do with your little ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one are is this torn paper heart activity. It's very important that these activities are open-ended, so they can... Be creative, get messy. All you need is paper scraps that you have lying around, any color that you want, any texture. All you're doing is gluing it onto a construction paper heart. You okay. can cut the heart together. These are ver have already been pre-made for us. Okay. And we're gluing them just however they want. Um, you can use tissue paper to, ha to add like a little tail, or you can cut off the excess if you want it to be a perfect heart. You can also give them markers. So they can write, so that they little, can messages, write little like on the messages. Back. Yeah. Aw, look at that. I love you. Something it's like, very simple. It's like a little sweet, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, that you can give to your loved ones. <coughs> okay. So and you would use all these, right? Yes. Okay. And you have a bunch of free pro programs offered at the library. We do, yes. Atlanta, we are actually having a Valentine's Day party on Thursday. February 14th at 10 a.m. And that is going to feature a piece of my heart. Pizza. Oh! We're going to have all kinds of pizza, pizza crafts, and crafts and activities galore for you. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, yeah. what is this marshmallow gonna, one? This looks good enough to eat. It does, yes. And actually, you can use pretzels instead of toothpicks, and you can eat the whole thing after you're done. I love but, crafts like that. <laughs> yes. So this is a STEM building activity. It stands for Science, Technology, mm -hmm. Engineering, and Math. Um, this activity is great for all ages. That's what I love about it. You'll take the marshmallow, exactly, exactly that. And I'm you're building bridges. <laughs> you can build towers as high as you want. You can actually use different colored marshmallows of all sizes. And that's basically what they're doing. They're just mm -hmm. building together. Mm -hmm. And learning something along the way. Exactly. Okay. And we have one more over here, right? Yes, this is very messy. So it's, a, it's time to get messy with the kids. It's very, very fun to do. What we're going to do here is make Play-Doh. Okay. The Play-Doh that you get at the store is sometimes hard and you don't always know what's inside of it. 
This is from Household Products. You'll have vegetable oil, water, salt, and flour. You can make it any color. This is a Valentine twist. We made it pink, and you can add glitter to it. What you'll do is you'll mix all of the ingredients together. Like I said, mm -hmm. it's very messy. Mm -hmm. We'll mix it all together. You'll get your hands in it, and it takes a little bit of kneading. Um, some so you combine salt, it all. Combine it mm -hmm. all together. And then throw in some water. Throw in some water. Oh my gosh. Throw in some water. The thing about this activity, it's very calming. Right. It's very well, it calming. looks like it's calming. It's yeah. fun for the kids. <laughs> exactly. And of course, there are some great books for Valentine's yes. Day, right? Yes. These books right here are for preschoolers. Um, we have a giant crush. We have mouse and mole. It's very important to tie books into activities. So it's very fun. All right. Great stuff from Robin El Corto with the San Antonio Library. For more information on the San Antonio Book Festival, uh, just remember it is a KSAT community event. Just head to salive.com for more information. And there's the information on the screen, Saturday, April 6th. Some people grow old way too young before their lives begun and their time. All right. The sweet sounds of Katie McKenzie where you can catch her this weekend. And next on SA Live, shed those pounds while relaxing with Slim Medica's quick and easy program. Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, we are now just over a month, 36 days into the new year. How's the resolution going? Have you given up on going to the gym or the diet or... Are you just not seeing the results that you want to see? Well, Alexander Castillo with Slimetica is here, and boy, you're talking about seeing results. Welcome. We haven't seen you in a long time. You had a little baby. I did. She's doing great, and she's healthy, but I'm very happy to be back here, especially during this time of the year, because you said it perfectly. New Year's resolution. Everyone's is almost always weight loss, and we want to help you get to those goals before spring break. Because even if you're still going at it, you may not have really seen any good results. And that's the thing with Slimetica. You said results, I mean, literally Half a pound the to a up. pound per day is what we see on average that our patients will lose. And it's very different from going to the gym or maybe following a nutrition program you found on the internet. We're going to tailor something for your specific needs to ensure that you're going to see those fast results. Yeah, Nicole says she lost 50 pounds in eight weeks and having mm. fit in the clothes. Look at her before intended. and look at her after photos. She looks like a total different person. And those transformations are very common in our clinic. We see it happen every day. And the reason so is because there's so many components. Again, it's individualized for each patient. So we start off with running a full thorough lab analysis. So mm -hmm. that way we can get down to the root of the issue. We're going to check your thyroid, hormone levels, look at things that can maybe hinder someone's weight loss, make sure we get those things fixed up. We pair that with nutrition, medication, and, and then the technology, which is a Zerona laser. Getting zapped. So this thing almost sounds too good to be true. It's what you're seeing on screen now, and it's totally painless. It's a cold-based laser, so you feel nothing while you're laying under there. You just come in and relax like our patient is doing on screen, and you're going to be painlessly melting your fat. And you said people can either take a nap. They oh, can, yeah, take you, a you nap. You can text, you can return yes, emails, you can actually your do work emails, you need to. Yes, check your emails, do whatever you want to do during that me time. And again, painlessly melting your fat. This is the component that really replaces the going to the gym for our patients. You don't have to go to the gym to see those drastic results. Also, we don't sell any prepackaged meals. There's no shakes. It's a pretty simple and doable program. And, of course, drastic results, half a pound to a pound per day. Wow. So you're talking a good five, six, seven, maybe eight pounds per week. Definitely. So spring break is right around the corner. You can be bikini body ready in no time. Just come in and see us now. Really, a lot of times patients will say, well, I'm on a time crunch or I don't have a lot of time. What can you guys do for me? And we can make it happen for you in as little as a week's time. You're going to notice a huge difference. Well, and, and like the before and after we showed, she had lost 50 pounds in, in eight, eight weeks. weeks. Yes. It wow. works that quickly. And again, that's the average weight loss that we see anywhere from like 20 to 30 pounds within the first month of doing the program. Okay. And you have a special today for our we viewers. We do, but it's only for the first 10 people who call or text us. You're going to get everything that you see on screen for over half off. 
That package is normally priced at $4,000, but today, just for the first 10 people who call or text, you're going to get it for $1,800 with a bonus laser hair removal in two small areas. And you got the Zorona laser there, the VibraGym sessions, yes. of course, the medical provider visits, medications, the, the diet The total plan. transformation package, everything that you need to lose half a pound to a pound per day. First 10 people to call at 210-361-1480. That's 210-361-1480. Alexander, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Got to bring the baby next time. Yes. Okay, good to see you. Yeah. All right, still ahead on SA Live, the sweet melodies of Katie McKenzie. She's going to be performing at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, so be sure to check her out. And Annie Vu is here with Sweets for Your Valentine's Sweetheart. We're getting a taste of Annie's Petite Treats. That's up next. Sweetness to add to your day. Annie Vu with Annie's Petite Treats is here to show us a fun recipe. Surprised you had time to come here. This is probably your busy time of the year with all yes. the um, Valentine's sweet treats and everything. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can always outsource your sweet goodies, but if you want to make something at home today, we're going to make some really fun, beautiful um, chocolate bars. And the, the tip, we're still mm -hmm. melting some of the chocolate yeah. right now, so we got to pause for a second, but the tip you... Um, at the top of the show, you had talked about if you want to save some calories, eat really dark chocolate? Yeah, the darker the chocolate, um, there's less dairy in there, and it still fits in that paleo diet. So you can still keep keep your diet, but still have a little sweet treat to, to curb and, that, so, and that, that, that craving. You want that dark chocolate that's what, at least, is it 70%? Uh, at right? least 72%. Yes, you yes. can find up to 85 right. 90%. But you want to look for that high number, right? Yep, and then just sprinkle it with some... Uh, nuts or seeds, and that'll kind of curb that sweet tooth. Look what magically appeared. <laughs> Jen to the rescue. She ran in high heels from next door. <laughs> All but, right. So how are we going to make these? So, and can you get these molds anywhere? So you can buy these molds at craft stores or cake shops. So if you don't have a mold, you can use a muffin tin and just pop it out. You can also oh. just spread it right on parchment paper on a cookie sheet mm -hmm. and break it up as bark. So chocolate is so easy to use. You can really do anything with it. That's a great, and you don't need to spray the pan or anything because there's enough cocoa butter mm -hmm. in yep, there. Yep, yep, I usually just release, use right? um, parchment paper. It comes okay. right off. I love so, it. All right. After you melt the chocolate, I'll let you guys both work on okay. work on this here. You can use white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, whichever Ooh. you prefer. In the mold, don't eat it. There we go. Ooh. And then just smooth it out. Oh, you can tap the pan. Can we tap it? Yep, oh. we can just do a, we go. Feel a little quick tap. So I would assume it. next to roses, is chocolate the uh, favorite gift to give, you think? I would say chocolate is definitely the favorite gift. Okay. I mean, you can't go wrong with the gifts you can eat, right? No, nope. <laughs> There we go. Caramels or uh, what? Caramel. So Valentine's is the only time in the year that I make sea salt caramels. They are incredible, oh, but a me. labor of love. Oh, <laughs> so I love lots of whipping, salt. lots of work. And so that's the only time of the year I do them. And I love sea salt caramels. That's my weakness. Okay. And by putting nuts on the chocolate, you're getting a little bit of kind of some nutrition. from Yeah, it, right? some, some protein, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> So you can use nuts. I've got sprinkles, um, dehydrated fruit. These raspberries are great because you can crush them, and they just create a little bit of color oh, look too. Look at that! Oh, that's my <laughs> idea. Okay, I like the little spanglies here. Spanglies? I don't know. I, don't, I made that word up. <laughs> and the crushed little raspberries. That's a fantastic idea. So if somebody wants mm -hmm. to order for Valentine's because it is. What do we got now? A little over a week away, yeah. Nine days, yeah. I think, or something like that. Okay, how do they, how do they order for uh, you? They can go to my website at annie'spetite.treats.com, um, or I will also be at Feliz Modern this weekend on Sunday um, from 12 to 4, popping up with all sorts of goodies like these cake balls, the caramels, and some of these chocolate bars. And I love that when you, when you pack them up, you have these little sayings, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. you can add a cute little uh, Valentine card in there. So once they dry up, you just pop them mm -hmm. right out. Here, well, we can bag we this go. one up here. Okay. So, and then bag them the up one and that pick. I saw? Where <laughs> I is saw the one, one that I saw? Oh, oh, here we go. This one says, <laughs> and I will read it. 
I'm so grateful you still find me sexy, even when I'm pregnant and gassy and have feet swollen to the sides. <laughs> we don't have to put in there. I'll just wear it right here. These yes. are called uh, realistic Valentines for your husband. Yes, more wear right right there. on uh, Annie Boo and other local vendors. Again, Fleas Modern this Sunday at the Valentine's Market. It is from noon to four, 110 West almost. <laughs> Thank you very no much. No problem. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, still ahead on SA Live. We've got a big giveaway for the San Antonio Sox Show and Rodeo. Kicks off, of course, Thursday. All the details are coming up. And testing those test skills. How Sylvan Learning Center can help your students prepare for the ACT and SAT. Now that it's February, students are getting ready to take their SATs and ACTs, but they don't have to prepare by themselves. Sylvan Learning Centers offers tutoring services that help them prep for these important tests. And here with me now is Sylvan Learning Center Director Mindy Hearn. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This is always such a stressful and intense time for students, you know, when they're gearing up for these exams. It is. How can they prepare effectively for the ACT and SAT? Well, don't wait. Right. Uh, (laughs) Don't wait. So the sooner the better. Uh, You know, junior year usually is is the jumping off point to really start prepping for SATs. Uh, Things that can be done prior even to the junior year is to start researching colleges. Mm -hmm. Uh, Go to their websites. Check out admissions requirements. Um, uh, Find out from your counselor, if you don't know, what your class ranking is. That uh, will give you some clues as to what type of SAT you'll need also. Come into the center and take a practice test. It's a great way to establish a baseline. What, where am I scoring now and what type of growth would I need to see in order to uh, reach that goal for those colleges? Um, and then prepare for the entire test. We find a lot of students are looking just to work on math, but really if you're looking for the greatest gains, you want to prepare for the entire Right, thing, all right. portions of the test. And I think one thing you mentioned is, it, I mean, they're all important, but I remember taking those practice tests, and yes. those really did help because you got used to the way the questions pacing. were asked and the pacing yes. and things like that. Yes. So how does Sylvan play a role in helping students be fully prepared for these exams? So we offer a variety of different types of prep programs for SAT and ACT. You can do those programs through a personalized instruction uh, arena mm-hmm. and also Uh, small group seminars. So there's different uh, ways to do that. They're scheduled throughout the year. You can contact your local Sylvan Learning Center and see what's being offered at what time. Um, We have a wonderful resource that's included in our programs too, which is sylvanprep.com. And that's where students, again, can really get more personalized um, with the type of skills that they need to work on. But what makes our program different is we work on not only the strategies to take those tests and work on the pacing and, and how to be successful that way, but we also work on brushing up on those skills that are going to be tested. And that's how you're going to see the greatest gains, getting better at the skills that are tested, but also understanding how to take the test. Now, I know math might be the answer here, but what is the area that students seem to need the most help in? Math is a big one. <laughs> Vocabulary, we see those tend to be two things that we really um, uh, see students scoring a little bit lower on. Um, and then the pacing, it is a lot of questions that you have to answer very efficiently mm-hmm. um, in a short amount of time. So again, the preparation is what is going to enable you to um, really know how to, how to make the best decisions, especially if you get stuck on questions. And especially under that time crunch, you know, that practice alone can help lessen a little bit of that anxiety, you know, yes. that you might get, you exactly. know, which can, of course, play a role in how fast you go. Exactly. All right. Well, Sylvan Learning Center is offering a free practice SAT or ACT on President's Day. That's Monday, February 18th. For more information, just call Sylvan Learning Center at 210 509 7323. That's 210-509-7323. Or just head to their website, sylvanlearning.com and enter your zip code in the top right corner to find a location near you. Still to come on SA Live, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo kicks off this Thursday. We're going to tell you what you win today. And this performer is going to be playing at the rodeo. She's country and Americana, and she's from San Antonio. Katie McKenzie is up next on SA Live. Well, 
Welcome back, everyone. Well, she is known for her sweet sounds, and she's from right here in San Antonio. Oh, yes. Katie McKenzie started writing songs early on in life, and now that hobby has turned into a passion. You can catch Katie McKenzie at The Rustic this Saturday, February 9th from 12.30 to 2 p.m. She'll also be at the Rodeo Tap Room on Valentine's Day from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Here to perform her song, Cowgirls Like Us, is Katie McKenzie. daughter and my mama second chance nothing less than what they said I could be strong in our cups we hate goodbyes but lord knows we just can't stay cowgirls like us no sunsets fade our dreams in the saddle our hands on the reins and we never cry when the cowboy rides away no all the cowboys cry when we ride away Again, Katie will perform at the Rustic this Saturday, February 9th from 12.30 to 2 p.m. And if you're heading out to the rodeo on Valentine's Day, she'll be at the Rodeo Tap Room starting at 4. For more on her upcoming events, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And, of course, speaking of the rodeo, we're continuing our rodeo giveaways because it starts in just two days on Thursday. I know, and we are giving away a prize pack with, uh, with four tickets to Russell Dickerson, four carnival passes, and four any day grounds passes. All you have to do is head over to ksat.com slash rodeo to enter for your chance to win. All the rules and regulations are posted on salive.com, and good luck, everybody. Okay, tomorrow on SA Live, we're getting you all rodeo ready with Western looks from Wheeler's Western Boutique. Plus, it's a wild Wednesday. We're learning all about warthogs. Oh, these two baby brothers are too cute. Zoom Imagination introduces them to us. That's tomorrow at one. Oh. <laughs> San Antonio, I'm David Elder, the guy on Facebook who finds amazing food. That is delicious. Join my quest for the best in South Texas Thursdays at 1.30 on SA Live. Four restaurants, four helpings of. This is where it's at. So grab a fork and grab a knife. This is Elder E. All right, earlier we asked you, what do you like cooking for the ones you love? Adam James 
says, I love making stuffed peppers and mashed potatoes and gravy. Ooh, that sounds really good. What? Jackie, meatloaf with mashed potatoes and green beans. Husband and children always ask for seconds. Oh, that's oh, when you know good. it's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yum. Flora says, fried chicken, potatoes, and greens. Barbecue. Yep. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that from Jamie. Mm-hmm. And Amber says, pepper steak with rice. Gosh, that sounds so good, I'm too. I'm really, really I know. hungry. I know. Enchiladas, rice and beans, comfort food. Oh, uh-huh. from Rita. Uh-huh. And Paula uh-huh. says, oh, she's got pictures. Lasagna and garlic bread is my go-to meal. Look at that. Look at how good that looks. Paula, bring it by. <laughs> Orange chicken with rice. Oh, yes, Vicky. Orange chicken. Mm-hmm. Lasagna, spaghetti, or enchiladas. Tammy knows where it's at. <laughs> you know, I think everyone should... I don't know if we should trust just what they're saying, that they need to bring it here and let us that's taste what it. I, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, they yeah. should cater. <laughs> just bring it to us. Pick a day and you know, we don't bring eat, We don't eat enough on this show. <laughs> hey, tomorrow it is a wild Wednesday with warthogs. Oh, yes. These baby brothers are too cute. You won't be able to stand it. And Zoo Imagination introduces them to us. And, of course, rodeo is just around the corner, so we got Wheeler's Western Wear. How to look really... <laughs> So Wheeler's Western Wear. Wheeler's Western Wear and a Wild Wednesday Warthog. Ooh, alliteration. Kids, yes, that's called, that's called alliteration. So. <laughs> Have a fantastic Tuesday, everybody. We will see you tomorrow right here at 1300 in military time. Oh, now, he's being, now he's being fancy. <laughs>